So today, we're gonna talk about a market analysis, some Bitcoin, Ethereum, a few of the altcoins that have been beasting it, and then a few pieces of news that I find to be fairly relevant to share with you guys. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jean with CryptoPix. First, before we begin, let me say thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're just viewing my videos, I still appreciate you guys, but smash that subscribe button right there. Also, all of you smash that like button. Again, in my description, I have my Discord. Come and chat with us and have some fun. Well, let's get started. So, we finally hit one half trillion market cap, 500 billion people. This is ridiculous. In September, we were under 100 billion with all the China FUD, with Jamie Dimon just talking about how Bitcoin is a scam, illegitimate. This is awesome, super exciting to see, mass adoptions coming. Also, if you've been here a while with me and just have seen the ups and downs, it's been a roller coaster, 100%. But it is a breath of fresh air to see that alts are finally pushing again. This is awesome. Some alts are just going completely nuts. We all know Bitcoin's been going completely nuts. So it's really a good question. Do you jump in the smaller alts? Do you stay in the bigger alts? Do you stay in Bitcoin? For now, me personally, I'm sticking to the bigger guys. The Ethereum, the Bitcoin, maybe even Ripple who's been doing pretty good. I'm a little bit afraid to put it in the smaller alts like the 100 million market cap alts, even 0x but it's actually doing good today. I definitely want to get your opinion on this. Are you guys going to be sticking in Bitcoin, in the bigger alts, or in the smaller alts? And if you're sticking in the smaller alts, why? Uh, you're not afraid that Bitcoin's going to pop up a little bit and then your investment's just going to go lower in stats. Granted, it might not lower in, in US dollar. Still something I want to have a conversation about and kind of get your guys' thought process. Again, come to my Discord. We are chatting about this and... Just trying to decide how we should invest in this market right now. With that being said, let's check out Bitcoin. So Bitcoin did hit around 18,000 the other day. It's about 16.4, but this is good. It's actually fairly stable right now, which is allowing all the other alts to push. We got IOTA. It's actually kind of going down now. Litecoin pushed to $300. I remember just a couple months ago, hit like $46. Which when I had a bunch, I decided to sell. Obviously, it wasn't the best idea. Ethereum, $700 right now. This is actually where I have over 50% of my portfolio right now. Like I said, I want to stick in the big dogs. I know Ethereum has great technology. It's, it's a solid investment and I know will go up. I mean, it could always come down, but it will, in the long run, go up. Ripple, actually, I stayed up super late last night and I was trading Ripple. I got it around 40 cents and I ended up selling around 50 cents. I made about $1,000 on that. I honestly do not like Ripple, and I've actually not researched it enough to, I guess, criticize it. And I do want to do one of my coin analysis on this. Kind of a funny thing, when I very first jumped in, Ripple is the first coin I ever bought. And I think this is actually fairly common with new people. Everybody knows Ripple for being super cheap. They don't know about the market cap. A lot of new people don't know that Ripple's not as cheap as you may seem. Now you compare it to Bitcoin, coin wise, it's ridiculous. So something exciting, if Ripple is able to get on Coinbase, could that thing pump? And I, I really do think it could pump hard because again, all the new people see a coin under a dollar and they will buy. I promise you, they will buy. On a side note, Waves. Now this coin has been beasting it. I remember buying this coin around $3. Again, ended up selling. I'm actually, I think I sold at a higher sats, so I'm not too worried about that. But this one has been going crazy, and it's mostly because of their news. They've had so much news going on. If you look, this is all wave news. So this all happened in November. This is already passed. And they still have a bunch of news happening, like Fiat Gateway. That one will be huge. December 31st, waves should continue to rise. So if you're in there, I would personally stick in waves and try to ride these news. But again, it's all up to you. And this is just my opinion on what I personally would do. Granted, I'm not in waves right now. 
Now, what about Wabi? Hopefully I'm saying this right. I had a few people criticize me that I didn't last time. This one has just been an absolute roller coaster ride. And you all know I do love the whole idea, the project idea, established company, etc. It just jumped on Binance yesterday and I was able to get in around 6,700 sats, around $1. I actually threw a huge amount of money in. It jumped all the way to 9,000 sats super fast. It was like $1.60. And now it's back to pretty much what I was buying at. So it's kind of looking like this might be the trend for ICOs that jump on Binance. QSP did it. I don't think this will be a QSP 2.0, which is Quant Stamp, if you didn't know. They hurt their coin because of the news they kept releasing that was so underwhelming. And I think that hurt their total investment this one is an established company they have a product work that's already working they have competitors which is walton coin and v chain that are already way up in market cap like 200 million and i 100 percent believe that this one will catch walton there's no reason for it not to so right now i have a huge portion of this one and i'm actually not worried at all i'm not trying to make 10 times gain in one day granted that would be awesome but I'm not gonna get discouraged if it doesn't happen. So, and like I said, they have not made the mistakes of Quant Stamp. It's just people taking profit and a few people flooding because it drops. So I also wanna mention Aeon. I've been telling people about this one in my Discord and in private chat that Aeon is gonna be big. And it's <laughs> it's really been blowing up. It was actually $2 and I was saying that and it almost hit $6 earlier. I personally was trying to jump in at $2. I just didn't really have support from anyone else. And I like to kind of get that reassurance from people so that I know I'm making the right decision. So yeah, I know, kind of stupid me, but what can you do, right? So what makes me excited about Aeon, it's a super good project idea, go check it out. And they partnered with my favorite coin, or one of my favorite coins, WanChain. And they're also partnered with Icon. It just happened not too long ago. Enough rambling, let's get to the, the news I wanna to talk to you guys about. So I have two articles that I really want to bring to your guys' attention. First, it's discussing tax reform's impact on crypto investors. The majority of the article kind of goes back and forth if this is actually going to enter the tax bill or not. So the important part is that they, if it does, it may be a first in, first out type of accounting mechanism, meaning the first stuff you bought would be the first stuff that you sell. And they give a good example saying if you bought Bitcoin at $1,000 about three years ago, and then last month you bought another one at $10,000, and then you decided to sell one of those Bitcoins at let's say $15,000, you must sell the first one you bought, meaning one the, the $1,000 Bitcoin. And then you have to realize $14,000 of taxable gains. And then they go to talk about a silver lining. And basically at the end, they're talking about if you plan on selling Bitcoin in the near future, it might be worthwhile to sell them before the beginning of the year. So this is kind of an interesting view. Does this mean Bitcoin could drop closer to 2018? Maybe something to watch, actually. Then my next article saying Bitcoin has gone mainstream, and that's a pretty big deal. To clarify, the author doesn't really mean that Bitcoin's gone mainstream in the sense that the critical masses are owning Bitcoin, earning Bitcoin, and then spending Bitcoin. Rather, just global awareness and dialogue, which I'm pretty sure most of us can vouch for this. You can tell Bitcoin is kind of the thing right now that everybody wants to talk about, kind of get interested in and decide if it's worth investing. Basically, the article is stating that it's gripping people's curiosity, which again, we already know that, and that we are in for a crazy ride while the adoption of Bitcoin is realized more and more, which I 100% agree with this. I want to know, have you guys had people that have never thought about Bitcoin asking you questions, what is Bitcoin? Have you made crazy gains? Like people are asking questions. And it's actually kind of funny because it seems to be when people ask about Bitcoin, they expect you've been in Bitcoin for a while, so you've probably made 10 times gain. You're probably threw in $1,000. You're at $100,000. Most of the time, I'm pretty sure it's not the case for all of us. So <laughs> let me know what you think of this video. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.